Hello, Hi. sir. Please welcome. Hi. So nice to meet you. Uh, I was. It was the first slow dance, and I got an erection. <laughs> and the the girl I was dancing with noticed and left the dance floor and left me on it by myself. I'm by yourself with your erection? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I bet if you got erect respectfully here, people would be fine with it. Thank you so much. Do you feel better? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, you look wonderful. Yes, I've been admiring you all night. Oh, thank you. I've been admiring you. <laughs> so my ex-boyfriend's mom asked me out because he hadn't asked me, even though it was the day before prom. Um, so I only had a day to make a dress, and I bleached my hair from purple to blonde, and it all fell out. No! <laughs> And my dad helped me tease it and cover the bald spot, because that's what dads do. That's so <laughs> nice. Also, why was that boy such a b that his mom had to ask you? Because I think he was seeing someone else. No. High school. That's why emo music exists. <laughs> yeah, you're the best. And I'm sorry I said b That wasn't right for this gender neutral poly. It's totally fine. Prom. I'm so sorry that happened, but it's so dope that you said, I only had a day to make a dress. Did yeah. you guys hear that? That is pretty rad. There was yeah. no world in which you were going to buy a dress, huh? No. Well, I didn't have time. <laughs> look at this queen. She's not buying a dress. Oh, thanks. It's true. She's I spinning a dress night. from the ether. She's mad. <laughs> it's true. Well done. Well done. Hi, Lena Denham. Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I was scared to have sex at prom, and so I went to the gas station and I bought a gas station sex pill, and it and it just made me itchy and fall asleep on the prom boat. The prom boat! Oh, I love a prom My boat. My prom was on a boat too. I love it. I love the gas station sex pill. Oh wow! Our last uh, our oh, last yes. person here is the final My mermaid. Lena to Lena. Lena to Lena. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, on my prom, I took my boyfriend at the time, but we got married in front of the junior and senior class and all of the faculty. And I had my parents sign a uh, slip saying that I could do so, telling them it was a field trip slip because I was underage at the time. And they only found out that I was married the day after when the faculty and principal was congratulating them on their daughter's marriage at the prom. Are you guys divorced? We are divorced. Is this true? This is true. Wait, this is true. We got to hold the phone and talk Wait. more about this one. So this mother <laughs> tricked her parents into signing a form that said she was allowed to get married because she knew they wouldn't read it, and she said it's for a field trip. And they never got married, so I was like, what's this all about? <laughs> and you ma got married as a high school junior? To another redhead, yes. And, and can I ask how long the marriage lasted? It lasted a year and a half, but the, we got it annulled the next day. Oh, so but it was in, in you know we. But stayed spiritually, together. you remained. Did you get yeah. it annulled because your parents were like, uh, yes. "Stop." Yes, I guess that's yes. why. Yes. You know what? That's actually <laughs> the best and most inspiring prom story I've heard. Thanks. That's one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Yeah. About anything, prom or otherwise. That's incredible. I just love the knowledge that you're like, my parents are not going to read any of this. Like that slip could have been like, yes, I have permission to take drugs to Tijuana in my vagina. Like it. Could have been anything. Well, they didn't. They wouldn't sign anything for that. They'd just be like, "Go, go, do when you, you. live yeah. your life." Yeah. I love your story. I love you. I You're love so you. casual and cool about all of this. Wow, incredible. <laughs>